In order to start a new music initiative for young people, Ed Sheeran has announced that he will be taking a break from recording his upcoming album. The 33-year-old singer has already had seven massive albums top the charts, including the record-breaking divide from 2017. However, Ed has now made public his intentions to introduce a new program to increase financing for music education in public schools across the nation. After learning about budget cuts in 2018 from his former teacher, the hitmaker gave millions to Thomas Mills High School in Suffolk. I started doing that in the county I'm from, and we've just changed to doing it countrywide, he remarked in reference to the scheme that I'm now making more visits to high schools that are in dire need of financial support for music, and you can see the impact. I'm not an intellectual. I'd be laughed at in the real world. However, because I was so good at music, many assumed I was talented in some other area. Being able to attend a state-funded school that truly promoted it was incredibly beneficial to me. Since financing for that has essentially been eliminated in England, I'm making every effort to secure funds for it. It was originally believed that Ed gave his former school £170,000 in 2020 to support music and art programs. The musician reportedly made the donations in an effort to identify the next big artist who can carry on his legacy. The school now has cameras, MacBooks, and a photography lab for its IT and art departments thanks to donations made by the A-Team Hitmakers Charity, the Ed Sheeran Suffolk Music Foundation. Following grants to Thomas Mills School, this has enabled them to successfully upgrade their art, IT, and music rooms for students to improve their educational performance. A report from the charity's trustees was obtained by The Sun. Soundproofing, a new photography studio, and several high-end composition and recording software programs have been purchased and installed. Students and staff at this school are fortunate to have a benefactor who knows and appreciates the value of the arts and education, how important they are, and how they can truly change lives, said Richard Hanley, the school's director of music. The Aldeburgh Hospital League of Friends, a local charity, and a primary school have received a grant of £20,000 from the foundation which aims to assist young people living in Suffolk with grants for studying or performing music. The project includes a sensory garden that uses instruments for patients. In addition, Ed gave his old school in Suffolk an astounding £1 million to support a new grant that will give pupils access to new learning materials and a new expressive arts course in Year 8 inaugurated this year. Ed was crowned the most played artist in the UK last month for the seventh consecutive year and British musicians top a new chart created by PPL, a music licensing company. The singer-songwriter from Suffolk is at the top of the list for the most songs that are aired on British television, radio, and public spaces. Since his first album Plus in 2011, Sheeran has sold over 150 million copies worldwide, making him the number one artist on the charts seven times. Thank you for naming me the most played artist for last year. He remarked, acknowledging his position. Thank you to my team, not just for me, but for every other artist you collaborate with as well. I'm glad you're receiving this acknowledgement.